If you're applying to Cambridge or Imperial College London this year, you may need to sit the ESAT. Watch this to find out more. The Engineering and Science Admissions Test, or ESAT, was introduced in 2024 as a replacement for two Cambridge admissions tests, but it was also adopted by Imperial College London and in 2025, UCL as well. This test is required for four courses at the University of Cambridge, Engineering, Chemical Engineering, Natural Sciences and Vet Med. At Imperial, applicants for a variety of engineering courses will need to take it, as well as physics, while UCL only requires it for its electronic and electrical engineering degrees. So, what is the ESAT? It's a multi-part test that covers mathematics, advanced mathematics, physics, chemistry and biology in five distinct modules. Each module consists of 27 multiple choice questions and lasts 40 minutes. Applicants don't need to complete all of the modules, and most will only need to complete three, although two may only be required in rare cases. So which modules do you have to take? Everyone needs to complete the first module, mathematics, but the remaining modules vary based on the course that you're applying for. For example, Cambridge applicants can choose which modules they'll complete when applying for any course except engineering. Engineering applicants unfortunately don't get to choose. You will have to complete physics and mathematics too. This is also the case for imperial applicants with all physics and engineering applicants needing to complete those modules as well, except for chemical engineering applicants who complete chemistry instead of physics. There's a lot covered in the test specifications, so be sure to prepare for your modules with practice questions, mock exams, and work solutions. We'll cover the modules in more detail in future videos, so be sure to follow. You can also learn more about it in our big book, which you can download for free at uniadmissions.co.uk.